cop killing. The cop killed a man, Stephen Brock, in Pine Top, Kentucky, in Knott County. And I uh, just wanted to sort of expand on it a little bit. Okay, so Pine Top, Kentucky neighbors say that when he was in his right mind, Stephen H. Brock was a good neighbor. Kentucky State Police are trying to find answers to what happened in the Knott County shooting that left one man dead on Thursday night. A neighbor spoke to WYMT about Stephen H. Brock, the 53-year-old man who was shot by a trooper after KSB say he made an aggressive motion with one hand behind his back. Okay, so this happened in Knott County, and they're trying to say that he was hiding in the bushes. There's like about 10 uh, Kentucky State Police that come up to this guy's house, and they said that he was making threats to shoot anyone who came onto his Neely Creek Road property. This is 6:30. Um, I want to say a day or two ago, October 23rd. So today is Sunday. This has been on Friday. 6.30 on a Friday. So um, they said they were placed on administrative leave, but on the TV they had actually said that they were reassigned. So either they're doing desk work or they're just sort of like the Catholic Church, just sort of, you know, moving them around into a different area, into a different district, which I think would probably be the uh, most likely, uh, but that's, um, you know, this is the 16th citizen that the uh, Kentucky's police have killed this year on the counted. It shows all 16 in Kentucky. Michael Asher was murdered by the same guy, by the same Kentucky State Police Officer, Luke Sizemore. Uh, wait, hold on. I think it was Luke... Luke Pridemore. So Luke Pridemore not only was the one who pulled the trigger here, so Pridemore comes in to the scene, the guy's behind the bushes, stands up with one arm behind his back, and then they say they made an aggressive move, so I guess he was just like pretending that he had a gun behind his back, and they killed him. And because they asked him if they had a gun, and they said that they won't tell that information until it becomes available. So it sounds like, why wouldn't you say it? That would justify a shooting if there was a weapon, but apparently he had no weapon, which is, you know, that's wonderful. And then it's, we only got the trooper's word. We only got uh, Pride Moore's word. Uh, who's to say that Pride Moore has never lied before? So that's uh, Luke Pride Moore. And Luke Pride Moore had actually been involved with the Michael Asher murder, 53-year-old white male. You know, middle-aged male in his 50s. This is a doctor's row in Chavies, Kentucky. So I'm going to say Perry County. But this was also a cause of death was gunshot, and they said that he had a firearm. They went to Michael Asher's camper when they arrived. Police alleged that Asher, uh, Michael Asher came out with a firearm and raised it at them, prompting officers to fire. So this comes off the Guardian, the Counted, and uh, it's counting how many Americans are killed by our police. Uh, 16 of 931 people shot has been in Kentucky. Compare that to Vermont, Bernie Sanders state, which has zero. And so if you want to, there's only been, what, two police officers who were shot and killed? So that's 16 versus two. So 16 versus two, the cops are winning. It's more dangerous. They want to talk about how dangerous being a police officer is. It's more dangerous being a citizen. You have 16 to two, eight times more likely of a chance of being shot and killed by a police officer. If you're a citizen, you're uh, eight times more likely to be shot by a police officer than if you're a police officer ever being shot by a citizen. So 16, it's actually in a way too very remarkably small. Um, with, Kentucky's got a state of 4.3 million dollars and I assume some sort of insane behavior. So the 16 actually doesn't seem like, you know, it's October. It's not that bad. It's not, I'm not going to say that it's, you know, uh, acceptable or tolerable because every life is precious and deserving. Um, I want to see the body cameras for this incident. I want to see, you know, more evidence about it. The fact that there's just one side. Why do the Kentucky State Troopers not have video cameras? Why don't we have video cameras yet? Um, they said uh, Michael Asher died at the scene, 9.30 p.m. And they said that he raised the weapon. So, you know, if someone's raising the weapon, that's justified. Um, and, and justified, it's when you pull the weapon. You holster your weapon, and if you unholster it, then you aim to kill, and someone could shoot you down. 
it's sort of how duels work. Uh, the first person to go is sort of the coward or whatever, but if the first person goes for their gun to go to shoot you, then that's intent. That is deadly intent. The other person is justified in defending themselves and gunning you down. So, but this guy didn't even, um, they didn't even say if he had a gun. So, that just happened. I caught it quickly on uh, TV. There's a couple other things here that, um, you know, that's uh, been going on here, you know, in the state of Kentucky. Well, actually, over there in the state of Kentucky. Our neighbors to the west. So again, this is another Pine Top Mountain. Um, he refused orders from the trooper to show him his hands, get them in plain view. Police say Brock threatened Trooper Pridemore's life, then moved in an aggressive manner. Uh, trooper Brandon Thomas arrived to the scene as Trooper Pride, Pridemore fired his gun. The trooper fired his gun three times and hit Brock at least twice. They attempted to provide medical assistance to Brock, but he died before the EMS arrived. Now officials are trying to reconstruct the shooting. Police say they're unsure if Brock actually had a gun. It's still under investigation. And this is uh, WKYT, you know, so it's actually remarkable that anybody actually covered this. Haley Minologue, um, October 23rd, 2015. Four Pike County inmates been charged with felony assault after beating another inmate earlier this month. They were told false information. They thought that this guy was a child molester. Uh, Matthew Dodson, he has never been charged with child molestation. He was in jail for theft, but once he had the reputation, one inmate said another, and then all of a sudden they all believed him, so they just started beating the shit out of him. Uh, Larry Kendrick, James Rowe, Derek Noonmaker, and Adam Charles beat the shit out of him. That's Pike County. This happened in a Pike County jail. So that's, um, that's something that's happening in Kentucky. Um, you know, that, that, that shooting in Knott County is pretty big stuff. There's actually a man that's on the run after a shooting in Tennessee. He ran to Kentucky. Suspect believed to have shot an Easter Kentucky cop in the chest before barricading himself, and the home was taken into custody after a standoff Wednesday morning. So this has happened to see Robert Power, Powers. They grabbed and got Robert Powers. But I believe there's another man that was on the run right now. Floyd Ray Cook, who fled into the countryside along the border of the two states between Tennessee and Kentucky. So police are searching for a man accused of shooting and injuring a Tennessee deputy and then fire at troopers in Kentucky. Uh, they found a vehicle near Burksville, Kentucky, matching the description of the Tennessee shooting and pulled it over a man inside, shot at troopers, and troopers weren't injured. So uh, Floyd Ray Cook is at large uh, right now in, uh, on the Tennessee-Kentucky border. So, look at that news. It's uh, 25th, 939. You know, America, peace.